morning my wonderful friends i hope you are doing really well this video had a little bit of a technical fault which is why the first half of the video is going to look like this but the second half of the video is going to look like this because yesterday when i sat down to film this video it didn't film the first part anyway let's get into it Hi, my name is Gem. Welcome to my channel, Wheels No Heels. It's dedicated to my life with a disability. We talk about lots of fun stuff on this channel, lots of um, wheelchair vlogs, wheelchair videos, and travel videos as well. If that sounds like good stuff to you, why not consider subscribing because we have some really exciting content coming up this summer. And we also do disability news, which will keep you up to date with some interesting disability news that we find around the world. Today in this video I thought it would be interesting to discuss the topic of being separated unwillingly from your mobility aids. Now this was actually sparked by a follower over on Instagram who was taken to hospital in an ambulance and they refused to bring his chair with him. He put up a little bit of a fight and eventually they did let him bring his chair. So I thought well where do we stand with this? Is this right? Has this happened to you? So in this video we are going to be talking about the importance of mobility aids, the types of different mobility aids there are, the places they tend to get separated from us mostly. I'm also going to be taking a deep dive into some of your experiences and how it made you feel when your mobility aids were taken away from you without your consent. And then at the end of the video I'm going to be sharing some advice on what to do if your mobility aid gets taken away or what you can do to kind of prevent that from happening in the first place. If you have any experiences of having your mobility aid taken away from you, uh, make sure to drop it down below, share your experiences and share any advice that you may have as well. So first of all, let's talk about what mobility aids are and some of the different types of mobility aids that there are. So first off, the first one that comes to mind, funnily enough, is a manual wheelchair, which is what I am using today. Now, a wheelchair can help people access the world, access life, get out and about when it is difficult for them to do it without it. Either they are completely paralyzed or they have difficulty walking or difficulty walking long distances or they have underlying medical conditions which may cause them to faint, for example, and they may need to use a wheelchair for their safety. I have done a video all about this topic, why I use a wheelchair if I can walk here, so it might be worth giving that a little bit of a watch if you're curious as to know a little bit more about that. Then we have other things like um, power wheelchairs, um, and we also have power add-ons like Batex and Smart Drives and eFix wheels. Those are mobility aids to enable us to do things that would be hard for us to do without them or almost impossible to do without them. Some people use canes, walking sticks, crutches or rollators. Again, it's a tool to help them walk better, give them stability, and it's something that enables them to do something that would be difficult or impossible for them to do without it. it should be seen as a positive thing, not a negative thing that needs to be kind of hidden away. Um, it's a tool of liberation. Some other mobility aids are hearing aids or a white cane, for example, or some people may be using a guide dog or a service dog. These are technically mobility aids that help people do things and do tasks that ordinarily without them they wouldn't be able to do. So you may even argue that a good old fashioned pair of glasses are a mobility aid or a mobility tool as well. <laughs> I can see you now. Mobility aids are so important and they are an extension of your body. They are an extension of you. They are you and, you know, arguably they kind of can, if you feel comfortable with it, become part of you and your personality. People um, accessorize their mobility aids, jazz them up to kind of reflect their personality. They are so important to a person's life because as I've said before, they enable you to get out and do the things that you deserve to do and, you know, integrate into society. 
Over on Instagram and on the community tab, which I'll leave linked down below, I ask you to share your experiences of being separated from your mobility aids. Now going through the hundreds of comments that I did get, there were five main areas where this tends to happen mostly. Ambulances, hospitals, trains, planes and then ableist interactions with people taking them away or not being properly educated or people pulling ableist jokes and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. So now we're going to take a deep dive into some of your experiences of having your mobility aids taken away. I'm going to be reading some of them. There were so many to get through. Um, unfortunately I wouldn't be able to read them all but if you do want to go and have a look as I've said they will be over on the community tab. So first up, let's start with ambulances. Now I had quite a lot of experiences of people talking about ambulances, but here are just a few that I'm gonna read out for you. I was taken in an ambulance and they refused to let me bring my chair. Luckily, I was at work, so a colleague bought it in their car. Then they made us use the bed and not let me use my chair. It took all day to be reunited with it. After that, I sat in it for the whole three days I was there so they couldn't do it again. I had PE and very low oxygen so may not have been thinking things through properly but had they left it with me I would have been less stressed. So just by doing that and not letting someone have their wheelchair in the ambulance with them it's made them really really anxious and could have actually had an impact on their health. Now here's an interesting one from someone they've said in the UK you can't take a wheelchair in an ambulance due to insurance rules which is incredibly stressful when you're already unwell and having to figure out getting your chair to hospital. That is very very stressful and I guess they don't want the responsibility of your chair being lost and damaged and it would be on them. Let me know what you think about having your mobility aid taken away from you um, in an ambulance. Obviously, I think, you know, if you are extremely critically unwell, you wouldn't probably even be thinking about your wheelchair. But you know, if you have got to go to hospital and you are conscious, then yeah, that is a huge, huge stress, especially if you don't have someone who can help you. And you know, it's like having your legs taken away and such a stress as well. Next, we're gonna move over to people's experiences in hospital, and I had a majority of these were hospital settings. A nurse decided that my wheelchair was in the way and she just moved it away from my bed without permission or even considering to ask me if it was okay to do so. And then after she got my blood, she simply left, leaving me without being able to reach my chair. I had the room to myself, um, anyone but me was in the room. I had to ring the bell and I had to wait nearly two hours before someone came to give me my wheelchair back in front of the bed. I felt I was completely helpless and felt terrible. You know, this is something, you know, you're already feeling pretty awful because you're in hospital and this is just a worry or a stress that you really don't need. And you would think nurses and doctors would know better, but clearly they don't. And I feel like a lot of training needs to be done around this. My worst nightmare, when admitted as an inpatient, I now take a bicycle lock with me and lock my wheelchair to my bed. I also have an A4 printed sign which I attach to my chair. It says private property. This mobility aid belongs to name and phone number and I think that is such a helpful tip if you know that you're gonna be going in and out of hospital. Um, to do this and quite a lot of people were saying that they take bike locks with them. I've had many medical professionals try and take my wheelchair out of the room and I get very defensive about it because of how many wheelchairs are lost in hospitals. Some staff demand I need to give it back because other patients need it. Um, assuming that my custom power assisted bright orange wheelchair is hospital owned and some just simply say it's in the way so they want to move it. I make my carers stay with it if it genuinely is in the way but 99% out of the time there's plenty of room um, and they can make it work. Again that shouldn't happen there should be more awareness and more training around this. Oh yes I am in a wheelchair and it's happened to me multiple settings also in hospitals it makes me feel helpless and very hard for me to deal with these feelings they can easily feel overwhelming it's a very important topic see it's 
so overwhelming and stressful and anxiety inducing it's just awful that you know this is even happening my crutches were once left behind in a and e after i was admitted to the ward even when i told the nurses i couldn't walk without them they refused to help me to the toilet six hours later a porter arrived with them i cried with relief that i had them back i mean that's just awful that that has happened in the first place and then nurses not wanting to help you why i mean if you're in a nurse if you're a nurse you would hope that they would have compassion and be caring and they're looking out for your best interests <sighs> makes me so angry another area that came up a few times were trains now let me know if you have had any experience of having to be separated from your mobility aid on a train but let's hear what some people have said i am blind and therefore i use my guide dog this happened on a light rail train. Two teens actually stole my white cane and ran off with it and it was so scary. Luckily, the police were called and they were so nice. They got me to a safe place um, for my mum to take me off, but I still suffer from crippling anxiety about trains, even now with a guide dog. That That's awful, that's an ableist attack and I'm so sorry that that had happened to you. I once got manhandled out of a train instead of them putting down a ramp in place with the train door being almost two feet above the level of the platform. This was while I was covering from major upper body surgery. Also, they took my wheelchair and several people's walkers and just piled them in a corridor of the train. There was loads of room to have our mobility aids with us, but nope, they decided to pile them up like luggage directly across the corridors so that you had to actually climb over the pile just to get to the toilet, let alone the emergency exit. That is an awful experience and I'm so sorry that that has happened to you. And yeah, that, that's definitely a safety issue there on the train they didn't tell me where they'd put it and didn't come back to help me get off you know you're just left so sort of like helpless and you know if you're on your own that's the scariest thing like having you it's like being strapped down to a chair and people you know wouldn't even dream of doing that to another passenger yes i have it made me angry amtrak separated me from my wheelchair on an 11 hour train ride and never once came back to check on me now i did have a couple of messages about people being separated from their wheelchairs and mobility aids when going on flights now i feel like we talk about mobility aids and the whole flight thing quite a lot so i'm not going to do a deep dive into that right now um you know the kind of experiences that people have on airplanes i will just share one interesting funny but not funny um scenario when i went on um a plane journey to espanol I um, had my old Da Vinci wheelchair at the time which is a custom chair and doesn't really look like your old NHS kind of you know transport airport chair at all we arrive in Spain and my wheelchair doesn't come up to the gate so I'm transported in a chair and I'm made to transfer into a um, normal chair and they'd go and take it away and we were waiting for my wheelchair to come like through the carousel in the baggage baggage reclaim area and literally just by pure chance by some miracle i see this little old lady being pushed in my wheelchair across baggage reclaim and i'm like sean 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 that's my wheelchair that's my wheelchair so there she is and sean's like like oh, lifting this poor woman up like that, that's not yours mate, <laughs> and sitting her in a chair and getting my wheelchair back. But if it wasn't for just seeing her in my wheelchair, I don't know what would have happened. But from that point on, I make sure that I always have like a luggage label with my name and address on it. And then obviously, you know the whole situation when I went to Morocco. Uh, video is there if you wanna go and check it out. Another area in which people have had their mobility aids taken away is kind of people just being ignorant and using them as a joke or taking them away as like a punishment, which is just absolutely horrendous and heartbreaking to hear. So let's just hear some of your experiences. Um, my ex and I got into an argument while I was in the car. When we got home, he left me in the car and my chair in the trunk. I was scared and not sure what to do. 
this is one of the several reasons he's an ex and I'm so glad to hear that this person is an ex but I am so sorry to hear that that has happened to you. It is just purely evil and disgusting, absolutely vile behaviour and I know that Sophie Morgan has spoken about almost the identical experience that she had on Loose Women and it's horrendous and I don't even think that some of these people who are like that nasty even realise that they're doing anything wrong and that's quite worrying isn't it? People at work events often try and move my role later out of the way instead of just asking, it feels so violating even if I would be able to get up and walk to where they have moved it to. Yeah you shouldn't move or take someone's mobility aid without asking and really does it really need to be moved or can you maybe get around it, maybe put yourself out for a couple of seconds. Oh this is a similar, I've had a similar experience to this. Um, yes regularly, if I transfer out of it, the worst is when I go to a theatre and they want to take it and lock it away in a storage unit until the end of the show because it's a fire hazard. Now you know if there is a fire no one's going to be like oh I'll just get that girl in 37B's wheelchair out of the locker with my key, that's not going to happen and I do remember on a few occasions where I've been to theatres and I've transferred out of my wheelchair and they've gone to take it away and I have just been left feeling really anxious, I've been like you know worried that someone's gonna steal it or it's gonna get lost. I think I may if that ever happens again take like a lock or something with me um, simply because you just don't know you know someone could come up see a load of wheelchairs and think hey you know that one looks better than yours let's switch it it, it might happen and sometimes when I'm like oh you know I'm really anxious about my wheelchair people are like who's gonna want a wheelchair why would anyone want to steal it it happens. Now this has come up more times than I thought it would. I was on a night out with my friends in a club and Bohemian Rhapsody came on to Yoon um, and some guy decides to take my sticks off me and use to use them as microphones to stand and dance with. My friends were I were just in shock and laughed it off. The guy gave my sticks back to me and I said thank you but um, I can laugh about it now. I'm lucky one of my friends held on to me so I didn't fall over and I could carry on having a boogie. And someone else here has said on a night out a co-worker grabbed my sticks and used it as a microphone and a guitar. Not fun. And it's kind of a weird one isn't it because you're like oh yeah it's kind of funny yeah we're all in the moment. But then is it funny? You know they've taken away your independence, they've taken away your personal property and you know some people may feel quite anxious around their mobility aids. They might feel um, awkward around their mobility aids and you know they might even feel shame about their mobility aids. There's no shame in using mobility aids but we are made to feel like that and it's something that we have to kind of live with or kind of overcome in a way. And then by someone taking it, showing off with it and parading it around can make you feel incredibly awkward. I have been on nights out where a guy has kind of like said you know you don't need that wheelchair, you look so much better without it, look at you without it. That is really disrespectful. It's like saying you would be so much better if you weren't disabled. Now I did go onto the old internet and I did try and find some data for us to kind of see uh, how many wheelchairs get lost, damaged, stolen each year and this data is very hard to find and I think that in itself kind of speaks volumes um, and this data should be available to us. However I did find the data from the US Department of Transportation that recorded a total loss of 11,527 incidences of damaged and lost wheelchairs in 2023 on airlines but really that's the only data that I could find. If you can find any data then please feel free to link it down below. So as promised I thought I would share some kind of like some tips and tricks and ideas um, if you find yourself in these situations what you can do. Number one I think it would be great to have watched this video all the way through, read the comments on the community tab and come with some of the comments in the um, comments section and familiarise yourself with this topic. Have as much information as you can, know yourself, know your limitations and be strong and confident 
in being able to advocate for yourself. If someone wants to take your wheelchair away um, and you feel like it's not quite right, have kind of like a script, have something in the back of your mind that you can bring forward and you can explain with them. Whether disabled people like it or not, we have to become our best advocates that we can be or have someone who can advocate for us. When this happens, there is a lot of emotion involved and it's very easy to get emotional and anxious. But if you can try to stay calm, collected and list off your reasons as coolly as you can, it's easier said than done. I, I, I do speak from experience, I do know what it's like and I've become a red ball of mess have to kind of like become an actor in a way that's how I kind of see it I just become an actor some people mentioned having air tags attached to their mobility aids and I am actually quite tempted to get one for my wheelchair for when we do go traveling it just gives you that little extra peace of mind if it was to go missing to hopefully be able to be reunited with it again. And um, someone did share an experience where they were in hospital and their wheelchair did go missing. Luckily she had an air tag and she was able to find it in the hospital. Now we have heard from previous experiences that this doesn't always work, but customization could be helpful. Make your chair nice and colorful, put lots of customization on it, maybe, do what Nina Tame does and put some spikes on the back of your wheelchair or on the handles and that might take, that might turn people off trying to move your stuff away. I'm gonna leave a link down below that I found about restrictive practices. It, when I was reading it, it did seem to only really apply to people who kind of had autism or learning disabilities, but it was quite interesting to read because it could kind of be relatable to people who have had their mobility aids taken away. Not my area of expertise, I don't know the law, I don't know if that is correct, it's just something you might want to look into. And if you have a care plan, maybe you could write a few things down in that about your wheelchairs and your mobility aids. Again, it's not my area of expertise, I'm on care plans but it might be something that might be worthwhile looking into if you do have one. If you got to this part of the video, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Make sure to share any more tips and importantly, advice down below so that if someone comes across this video and they're a bit lost and helpless as to what to do, um, they can have a look through and pick up some tips from you. Again, don't forget to give the old thumbs up and subscribe. Also, we have really, really exciting content coming up, so make sure you subscribe. We're going rock climbing, we're gonna do the holiday announcement videos to where we're going, and then all the content around um, our vacation as well. It will be great to have you on board if you're new, and if you're returning, awesome to have you back. Thank you for watching, bye!